This is Mikey Borup for PremiumBeat.com, and in this After Effects course, you will learn the basics to advanced features of After Effects. Interface, shape layers, motion tracking, compositing, and more. During these tutorials, feel free to pause, rewind, and ask questions. I will be using After Effects CC version 12.2, but most of the techniques learned can be used in older versions. In this video, we will cover advanced expressions and rigging, controllers and presets. So let's fire up After Effects and get started. So here I am in After Effects and I've got a brand new composition. I call it rigging because that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be rigging and expressions and presets and controllers and all that good stuff. So let's bring in some footage. So nice footage of a dog. And let's write a basic expression. So in order to do that, we need to go into one of the properties or the parameters. So anywhere there's a stopwatch, you can write an expression. So for instance, let's go to say scale. And I'm going to hold down Option or Alt on the keyboard and then click on the stopwatch and it brings open this expression dialog box. And so I can write in code in here. It's, it's a JavaScript type code. And I'm not going to teach you the full um, code because there's a lot to it. Um, but I'm going to show you some really cool stuff. So for instance, for scale, I can simply, I can come in here and let's take this pick whip, grab scale. So make sure it says scale. And then I'm going to go times that by time. And let's see what happens. As the time goes on, it's going to continue to scale this. That's pretty cool. I can also go in here and let's go plus time. And what that's going to do is it's going to now start at 100. And it's just going to continue to scale with time. Now say we want it to go a little bit slower and maybe start at 100%. Well, I can come in here. Let's take this time. And we can do some math here. So let's divide this by 10. And then let's add 100 to it. And we need to add 100 in brackets so that we can do the X and the Y. And these are just square brackets. And now we've got kind of a slower scale going on. And as you can see, it's scaling just with time. So what else can we do with this? Well, let's turn that off. Now, if I have an expression on here, I can turn it on and off with this equals sign that enables and disables the expression, or I can just hit option and click on the stopwatch again to delete it completely. So let's go into position this time, and let's do an expression that you'll use a lot, and I use a lot. It's called the wiggle expression. So you just type wiggle, open parentheses. The first part is how many wiggles per second. So let's do 10 wiggles per second. The second part is how many pixels you want it to move. And let's go 500, something extreme, just so we can see what it is. And you can see how crazy this is getting. Now, say we don't want it to move that fast. Let's bring this down to one wiggle a second. See, now it's moving a lot slower. And if we go less than one, say 0.1, you can see how slow it is, but it's wiggling and it's randomly choosing, you know, one between zero and 500 and applying it to either the X or the Y. And it's just being very random about it. So that's the wiggle expression. Let's go in here and just kind of take a look at some more stuff you can do with expressions. If you click on this arrow here, this little triangle, it shows you all the different things you can set expressions for. Different math, you can create random numbers. Um, you really need to kind of get in here and look at this. If we can come to the layer, you can change the properties. So you've got position, scale, rotation, and all sorts of things. And when you're creating presets and templates and things like this, you're gonna get into lots of this kind of stuff. So we come down here to property. See, this is the wiggle. We've got all sorts of stuff here, wiggle, frequency, amplitude, octaves, um, and it shows there's a lot more to it than just how I did it. So you, there's really lots you can do with this. 
Now, if you want to learn more about writing all sorts of expressions, this tutorial is not meant to be an in-depth tutorial on expressions, but I just really want to get you started on what you can do. But let's get into some more stuff. I want to show you how to kind of rig something up. So say that wiggle expression. I want to be able to keyframe that. Net. With normal expressions, you can't keyframe them. So, But what you can do is if we come up to effects and we've got this expression controllers. And there's all of these controls. And these are just blank controllers for like an effect that aren't attached to anything. See, we've just got this slider here and it's not attached to anything. But I can link to it through an expression. So I can come in here. Let's, let's come to scale. See, if, if I alt click on the stopwatch, I can link to this. And how I can do that is with this little pick whip, it's called. It looks like a little rolled up cinnamon roll type thing. And I can grab that and just, I'm going to grab the slider. And now this slider is controlling the scale. That's pretty cool, but I could have controlled that before. But I can do multiple things now from the one slider. So let's say I want to do the same thing with opacity. Well, now it's changing opacity at the same time as the scale. That's cool. So maybe let's do position now. So, but what's going to happen? Position is two points. There's X and Y, and this is only one number. So when I do that, it's going to create a temporary variable. And so it says temp equals effect slider, and then it sets the temp to the X and the Y. So what I can do is, well, I can come in here and set this to that original position. And the second one, I want to set to that the original position plus the temp. And now you can see it's going to be moving. I might want to, let's make this more pronounced. And so I want this temp times 10. And you can see it's moving position. Let's take this one off. I don't want it to change the position at all. I just wanted to show you how you can kind of do some of this stuff. Same thing with rotation. I can bring the rotation in here. So you can create some kind of cool effects, and it's all just controlled by this one slider. Now let's go back and let's do a wiggle effect. So let's turn off all of these, bring it back to normal, and let's come into the position, and I want to add a wiggle. So wiggle, and let's just add some numbers right now, just 2, 2, close the parentheses. And if you're going to do multiple things in your expression, more than just one line of code, then you need to end with a semicolon. And it's just good habit to get into ending with a semicolon. And here, this is wiggling a little bit. You can see just a little bit. You can see the numbers, the values changing. But I want to be able to keyframe this. And so what I have here is I have the slider control. And let's rename these. So let's call this time. Duplicate that. And let's call the second one amplitude. And so what I can do is I'm going to highlight this number two, use the pick whip, grab that slider, highlight the second one, use the pick whip, grab that slider. And now you can see it's going really crazy. But if I increase this, that's the amplitude. I can bring that down to two. And it's changing the amplitude. I can bring this so it's going really fast. I can bring this down to two. And now these controllers are keyframeable. So for instance, if I want this to be at no wiggling, and then all of a sudden at this point, I can keyframe this, go forward a couple of frames, bring this up to 25, and bring this to 100, and then go forward a few frames and bring this back down to zero and zero. And what's gonna happen, it's gonna do kind of a shake. Boom, and it kind of settles down. And now since this is moving the, the position, it's gonna work with the motion blur. So I can turn on the motion blur. And let's preview through this really quickly. Let's make that fit so you can see. Okay. So we have a nice little kind of a camera shake going on here. And that's pretty cool. 
Now, say I want to save this as a preset. I'm actually going to turn off these keyframes. And I just want to save this time and amplitude with the wiggle. So say I don't want to have to set this up ever again. I can save this all as a preset. It's an animation preset. And how you do that is really quite simple. Basically, you have to highlight all of the points that have things that you need to save. So I need to highlight the position because that's where the expression is. Highlight in these two effects, time and amplitude. And I'm going to go up to animation and save animation preset. Come in here, give it a name, wiggle control. And now I can come in here, I can turn this off, I can delete both of those controllers. And then over in my effects and presets, I've got the wiggle control preset I just created. I can drag and drop it on, and it brings it back on there. So if you've got lots of complicated effects and animations you're doing that you need to do over and over again, it's a good thing to build a preset that way. And I can come in here and now I've got this wiggle control. And I don't have to worry about relinking that and writing the expression every time I want to control my wiggle. So hopefully you didn't get too confused with all this stuff. Um, there's lots of things you can do with expressions. So that is rigging, expressions, expression controllers, and presets in After Effects. Thank you for watching and participating in this course. Feel free to comment and share this video with others. In our next video, we'll be talking about motion tracking and stabilization. Again, this is Mikey Bort for PremiumBeat.com. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.